Hi friends and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. I am so happy that you're joining me today on Tech Tuesday. Today I have a great tech tip plan for you. I'm going to be showing you how to save a file in Google Drive in multiple different folders. So this I think is just such a great tech tip because it'll help you save time, it'll help you be more efficient, and it'll really help you stay organized with Google Drive. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's say that you have a file that you want to keep in multiple different folders. So there might be a ton of different reasons why you would want to do this. So for me, for example, I really want to use a file with my students in class in the fall, but I also want to be able to use that same file with teachers during a professional development workshop that I'm leading this summer. So you'll see on my screen here, I've, I have a file titled Tic Tac Toe Choice Board. So like I said, I want to be able to use this with my students in the fall. So I want to be able to save it within my tech classes folder. But I also want to use this, fold, this file with teachers who are going to be sharing some information in my professional development folder. So I'm going to show you guys how I can actually store this same file in two different locations. So first I'm going to click on the file and I'm going to click Shift Z on my keyboard. Now you'll see I have this drop down menu here. So I'm just going to go through the process and select the, the folder where I want it to go. So I'll click on tech classes, pre-reader coding, basics, and then I'll click add here. Now you'll notice that the file still exists in the same location that it was originally. That's because this file is now located in two different places. So it's located within my tech classes folder along with the original location. So if I wanted to store this file in three different spots, I would, or four different spots, or five different spots, I would go through that process again and again and again. But because I only want to store this file in two different locations, I'm just going to right click, then I'll click move to, and I'll select the folder where I want it to go. I'll click move here, and now you'll see the file has moved from its original location to my professional development folder. So I'll show you guys. If I open up this folder, you'll see the file is saved here. And if I go back to the pre-reader coding, you'll see that it's also now saved in this new location as well. So something that's really important to keep in mind is that this is still the same exact file. It's just saved in two different locations. So if I make a change to this file here, it's going to change to the other one as well, because like I said, they're the same file. So for example, if I delete this file and I go back to my PD folder, you'll see it's no longer there. So if I wanted to actually make a copy of this file so that I could edit both differently, I could do that just by right clicking and pressing make a copy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this one and you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching this on my Instagram at edtechclass, show me some love, throw me some comments. I really wanna hear what you guys wanna learn more about. Um, so let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you back here next week on Tech Tuesday. Bye friends.